Okay, so I got a new toy. I got this DeWalt uh, Red Laser Distance Measurer. Measurer, mesh, measurer, measure, measurer, 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 laser distance measurer. -er. Pretty cool. It's rated for IP54. It got the uh, DeWalt Tool Connect, so you can add it to an app. We're gonna try that. So you're probably wondering, why do you need Tool Connect? And to be honest, I probably don't, because I'm only using my tools in my backyard and around the house. But hey, if it has it, why not test it? But if it can show me if it's in the guest house or in my shed, uh, that would actually help because I'm really bad at keeping track of my tools. This will survive a fall of about two meters. I really like that as well. Since I'm super clumsy, I trip over things and I lose my tools on the ground. What's in the box? Well, that's one way to design a box. Okay. Ooh, it comes with a little pouch that will actually be perfect on my two wheels, I think. So let's check that out. Got some batteries. I guess we're just gonna press this button. Yep, nice. Okay, so I just downloaded the uh, DeWalt Tool Connect app and uh, I think I can just go ahead and push this one. And sorry, this is all in Swedish. I couldn't change it to, to English. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and add um, the laser edition. <laughs> the laser distant thingamajig. Oh, I can name it myself. Let's call it um, Laser Boy. Perfect. I'm gonna search for it. I guess I need to... Oh, it's pairing. Oh, it found it! So it came right up. And now it's connected. And if you can see this, the little Wi-Fi symbol, which I guess is the Bluetooth connection uh, indicator, lights up. The battery is at 100%. Can I do anything more? I can view the, the manual. I can do a measurement from my phone. Okay, so that's where I live. Yeah, I know where I live. Can I? Oh, okay, so it just shows me with it. That says uh, within range. So I guess it's gonna show me if I'm outside of range. Okay, we're in the guest house. Let's, uh, and I think the sound here is pretty nice now. I'm starting to put in all the insulation and I think it really dampens the, um, the sound. Anyway, no, that's the one. I also managed to bump the, um, the screen brightness quite a bit. It was set to 25% by default. Now it's at 100. Uh, and it's especially when it, when you get that kind of sun glare and it's kind of bright. It's, it really helps that you can set different types of, uh, of screen brightness, I would say. And now you might be wondering, if you've seen a couple of my videos, you're probably gonna see in this one, but why did I buy a DeWalt laser measurement tool thing when I already have the Bosch PLR50C? That's the one I have right now. And I had it for a couple of years. It has been really useful. I used it a lot and that's why I got this one as well. The reason I bought a new one, since this is the Bosch one works pretty well, is uh, this. You see that tiny little <laughs> impact mark there? Uh, I mean, it still works, as you can see. So I was putting in these, whatever you call them, like support joists or something. And I have just measured this one and cut it to length. And I had this one laying right there. And then I was using my hammer to just hammer it in place. And uh, yeah, you, <laughs> you can probably guess what happened. So I was looking away for one second when I was hammering this in place and uh, jammed my hammer right into that one. So that is what actually happened to my old Bosch PLR50C. I'm pretty sure my wife thinks I did that on purpose just so I could buy some more DeWalt stuff. I might have a problem, maybe, but um, hey, I like my toys. So there's a few things I really like about this one. Uh, first of all, this thing, where it flips between landscape and portrait, pretty much like a cell phone. That is uh, really useful. I mean, it's not hard to read the, the numbers either way, but it actually helps. Um, and as I said, the screen brightness uh, adjustment is nice. The possibility to switch between different units with a push of a button probably comes 
in real hand when I'm going to try to explain the uh, length in both uh, meters and, and feet and stuff like that. Let's see what else. You can go into the settings and change, of course, uh, how it's measured. It should be measured from the bottom of the unit, from the top. Do I want to use the little flip thing to make it grab onto things when I measure? It's a lot of nice little features. It doesn't have touchscreen though. Um, I don't really mind it not having touchscreen. Uh, it also has the possibility to clear out, uh, so you can take different measurements. Let's just go ahead and do a few. And then you can clear them out one by one. That's very nice. And you see that number? That's the number of a degree, so right now it's tilting downwards a little bit. Uh, so if I go ahead and tilt it up. Yeah, so it's like um, it's a laser level, I guess. That's pretty handy. Oh, and there's also this added bonus. The little holster it comes with fits perfectly on my tool belt. Ta-da! That's pretty neat. I've been using it for uh, at least an afternoon. Uh, it works really great and I maybe have dropped it a few times, uh, but the construction is really robust. And uh, I mean, I don't have much to compare to apart from the Bosch one. And I do like this a lot more. It does cost a bit more, maybe twice as much. But yeah, you get what you pay for, I guess. So I'm gonna get back to building on my guest house and uh, you should probably go check out my video on this tool belt. It's really great. So check out my tool belt right here. And uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing right about there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.